Hi, Damien from Powdari. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up services and products in your account. Um, so to do that, we go to set up over here and click on services and you'll see a list of uh, services. There's a couple of example ones in this account. To add a service, we just simply click this add a service button. But I'm going to show you one um, that already has information in it because I think it makes it a bit clearer. So um, we start off with the name of the service. That can be uh, anything. So in this case, just standard psychological um, consult and item number or code. So if this is a service associated, say, with private health insurance um, or Medicare, you can add in the code um, associated with that service there that will then populate on invoices. And if you use electronic claiming, um, we'll also make sure that that item code is used and sent through to the insurer. Um, we can add a description. It's not mandatory, but it shows up on um, invoices, so it allows you to um, add some additional information. The duration of the service um, that you provide. The tax status um, of this. So in this case, we have this as uh, tax exempt. Um, the cost would be the underlying cost um, of providing that service. Um, it's not uh, mandatory. The one that we need to have though is the sell price, so how much you're actually selling the service for. And then uh, the category that the service belongs to. So here we've got, I've selected um, psychology, but you can configure the different categories um, of services by clicking on this over here, custom list, and you'll see the option to um, to uh, edit and add those categories, but it uh, makes it easier to have services categorized, particularly if you have um, a multidisciplinary practice uh, and a lot of services. It can get uh, to be a very long list and by using categories you can break them down to each discipline type. So once that is done, uh, you simply click Save and um, that service will be added or in this case um, edited. If you are editing an existing um, service, so let's say you're adjusting the price of a service at the end uh, of the year um, and you have future invoices that are already generated um, that have this service, you have the option here to update those future invoices um, with the new price. And um, that's it. So I'll show you how it looks on the, in the actual system when you're using this. So if we were to click on an appointment, we would see over here we want to create an invoice for um, this appointment. So we can see now here we have these options um, and under services we have uh, standard psych uh, psychological consult which is the service we were just editing then. And so I'm just going to select that and click save. And now what we'll see if we want to view um, this, um, what this actually looks like, I'm going to go to this print um, icon and just because it gives us a preview of the invoice so you can actually um, see it. But what you'll be able to see here is that I've added that service to the appointment and we can see that the item code, the item name and description, the price, any tax and so forth are automatically populated onto the invoice. So it means that we only ever have to set up these services um, once and then they're available on this drop down list and it will automatically populate everything that you need um, on the invoice uh, associated with that. Now, just before I go, I just want to show you that products um, are very similar. So services are things that we might deliver, um, for instance, person to person. A product might be something that we um, actually uh, sell. For instance, there might be um, books or supplements or CDs or whatever it might be. Um, and it's a very similar process. It's just under setup products. And then you'll see it's the familiar form um, where you can add in the name, the, the details of that, that product and um, and then uh, enable you to kind of uh, have a list of all the different things that you sell. Okay, that's uh, it for this video. Thanks very much for watching.